Hey guys. Okay, it's a little bit darker in here now that we've got the tint on. Um, the tint's really, really nice, and it doesn't actually absorb as much heat as I thought it would. Um, it actually keeps the internal temperature of the bus really, really nice. Um, okay, so today we're going to work on finishing up some painting. Um, but what we're going to be painting is the dash. So what I'm going to be removing is I'll be removing these two sections here. So the where the un uh, head unit and stuff like that is currently as well as some um, drawers and cup holders. Um, they're all going to get removed. Same with the tachometer. We're going to get a bracket made up to go in there to be just some more storage and, and whatever else we want to put in there. Um, pulling out this entire console unit to be repainted. Um, this I'm going to remove as we don't need it anymore. Uh, I'm going to turn that one into where our head unit is going to go, a new head unit with reverse cameras. Um, I'm also going to pull off um, the revision mirror so I can paint behind that as well, the bracket behind that. Um, that's coming off for the same reason. This entire door trim is coming off for the same reason to be repainted. Um, and as well as things like the steering column and um, all that stuff is all going to be repainted. Um, the steering wheel, I'm not sure of yet. Um, I need to find out if I'm actually able to paint that or whether it needs to stay um, what it is now. And yeah, oh, and also going to be repainting the um, engine cover as well, engine bay cover. So yeah, but with the new windows in. It's really, really nice inside, and from the outside, can't see a thing. So yeah, that's what we're planning on doing today, um, is ripping out pretty much this entire um, front console so they can be repainted, um, and yeah, so I'll position you guys where you can see the best I just need to move a couple of things so I can actually fit the camera down somewhere. But yeah, give me a sec. Okie dokie. Well, that was one of the easiest removals I've ever had to do. I need to head off to Philip's house to get a wrench because I left mine there. So I will be back shortly once I've got that. Alright, so I'm back with the wrench that I need to get all the bolts out. So I'm going to work on getting all the bolts out and then yeah, we should be able to take the entire dash off. We're going to start with this one.
and got it off. I hope I will know how to put it back together. <laughs> it's one step closer. Now I've just got to paint it all. Um, I may even be able to do that today. I just gotta clean it all first. Once I clean it all, it should be all good. But yeah. I right, so before it runs out of battery, um, I just need to take all these clips out so we can start painting. So, very simple. One clip on one side. Push it down. Um, I'm just going to wash everything over, let it dry, and once it's dry, I can then start painting um, the dash. So, yeah, I think it's going to be easy just with a, um, a sponge and some warm soapy water. So, yeah. Now that most of those pieces are now dry, uh, I'm going to lay down um, some painter's plastic so we can, yeah, do the first coat of paint. Yes, 
that the greyish colour? Very hacker, all right. There it goes. Okay, so I brought the bus up to the front of the house. Um, I did already go through and vacuum up all the front. Um, sorry, I didn't get that on camera. I didn't even think about it until I'd already finished. Um, but yeah, so I've gone through and I've tacked all the surfaces here. With a vacuum and a dustpan, well, sorry, just the brush compartment and a blower, and just cleaned it up as best I could. So, when I reinstall the dash, which I'm going to do today, it will all be all fresh for that. screwed into the wrong part obviously but yeah so I'll get these ones connected So I've just pulled all the last remaining trim bits off the car. I'm doing the entire driver's side door and I've also pulled off all the pinch welds from around all the windows and gathered up all the ones that I've pulled off in the past. Uh, as well as the engine cover and a couple of the little handles and things like that. So we're going to paint them all a different colour now. Uh, I've already washed them all so they're all sitting out there drying at the moment. Uh, most of them are already dry so I'm just about to lay out a plastic sheet. Um, and the plastic sheet I'll then start getting on to painting them all. Oh, sorry, that's it. Just wondering why that was a little bit tilted. Um, yeah, so I'll be laying out the plastic sheet now like I did yesterday and painting all these and hopefully giving it about two or three coats. Then we should be all good to go. Okay, so now that I've had a drink, so I'm just about to start the first coat. I've got two 
um, brand new cans, but still haven't opened one from yesterday. Um, what I'm using for this is GP Color Vinyl and Fabric Paint. Um, it's an acrylic based paint. It's meant for dashboards and trims and, and whatnot. Um, this one still has a little bit left in it, so I'm going to use this one first just until it runs out. Um, not sponsored at all, just I used it yesterday, saw it online, just from Repco. Um, it's like $17 a can, and I used two to do um, all the dashboard, and I'll probably use probably two to do the rest of all the pinch welds and stuff like that. Yeah, so I'm checking some socks so I don't stick to the plastic, and we'll get going. Okay, so first coat's done. Um, yeah, I'll let it dry for a second, then I'll apply a, an, another second coat and then should flip it over and do the other side for pieces that need it. I'm just gonna let those pieces dry for 10-15 uh, minutes before I flip them over. Um, just to make sure that they're not gonna stick to the bottom when I flip them over. So yeah, we'll leave that for a little bit and I'll come back when it's time for the next coat. Okay, so that's more than enough time for them to dry now. So I'm going to open up the cans that I've already used and we're going to hold some of the pieces trying to get the last of the paint out um, just to save having to buy another can because I think I may run out. Um, but yeah, I'll see what we can do. I've done a second coat on what I can, so what needs to be done. Um, once that dries, I just need to go around and just touch up any of the middle parts. So I've done one side and I've flipped it over on the other side, but I just need to go across the, the face and make sure that it's all done there. And then I can take all of that stuff off the sheets, put the new pinch wheels on there, and ho hopefully have enough in this new can to um, get it all done. So yeah, I'll catch up with you guys shortly when I get Start on to the next, next coat. Right, time to do the last little touch up bits now and then I can get started on the next lot of pinch holds. That's most of it done. Um, all we're gonna do is some little touch up bits and stuff when this coat dries and then the center parts and then it's all done. Um, there's a couple more little trim bits that I've got to do inside the bus, um, which I'll take out as well. Things like the rear vision mirror, support arm, a um, couple of little pieces I'm sure that I'll find um, once I go back in. Oh, and the um, sun visors and things like that. So um, once all this is done, um, I'll I'm going to install those, get those last few bits out, hopefully get them done today as well. Um, Katie's bringing me another rattle can of paint because I'm sure I won't get um, through it all with this. It's almost empty as it is. I might be lucky to get um, all the touch-up bits done with this can of paint, but that's going to be about it. So, Katie and the kids are due back any minute. Um, I just realised that that bit of plastic just flipped over and tore the tape, so I'm just going to go tape it back up and hope it didn't um, pull off any of the paint. Alright, so I've now waited for that to dry, keep the back, so I'm just going to go do some touch-ups and finish off the center parts and then we should be all finished. Uh, I've got a new rattle can of paint just in case I need it, but I'll try and use the last of um, this paint can up first. Hey guys, 
Okay, so we don't have a lot of time to work on the bus today. Um, but what we are going to do today is we're just going to try and attack the floor well of the driver's side and passenger side footwell is where the mastic is currently sitting so all of this we're going to try and clean all that up today with an angle grinder um, see if we can get rid of some or most or all of it um, if I get time I'll try and attack the other side as well but you know whatever we can get to today will be good um, So just for any of those wondering, it's a low odor WD-40, so it's not as fumey as regular. So I got the rust out of the doorway, which is what I was hoping for. Still need to do a little bit on the inside um, and a little bit around sort of like the base of the footwell area. Um, I did get off most of this stuff on both footwells. Um, I'm not going to go too much into it. Like I am going to get the grinder a little bit probably whenever I can next weekend during the week, something like that. Just to get some of the stuff around the outsides and just see if that does come down just a little bit more because it's not really coming off very well with the... Um, scraper and the razor blade because it's kind of like a kind of curved edge. Um, so that's cool. I've got a majority of what I can in the actual footwell area itself in the little channels. Um, so that's great. That's what I was hoping for because that was the part that I tried getting last time. It was just smearing it and smoking up something severe and it was bad. So uh, at least got that stuff off. Um, yeah, WD-40 worked great um, with just a standard scour pad. Um, the stainless steel one that I had as well did work really really well to get off like some big chunks and things um, so if you've got one that's good it does hurt your hands and I probably should have been wearing gloves um, either way my hands are covered in grease now so I need to wash them before I touch anything else in the bus um, but that's mainly because I was using WD-40 as well so if you use WD-40 just use some like nitrile gloves or something like that to um, protect your hands from grease and, and whatnot even better if you can get like a heavy duty pair of gloves then the stainless steel stuff won't um, like split it and stuff as well. Um, yeah, I got most of that stuff off so I'll be uh, working on getting the rest of it done. Um, I've got some uh, like soundproof um, sheeting or mats or whatever on order. Um, so when they arrive I'm hoping that I can have most of this stuff done and then I can cover all the footwell um, and 
area and stuff like that in in the soundproof stuff. Um, I've also got a fabricator coming in to have a look at getting both the front seats replaced um, and also installing some uh, support channels and things like that for the kid seats in the back. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to have most of this stuff done before they get here um, to do all that. So yeah, I'm going to pack up now before we lose too much more light. And once again, thank you for watching and I'll probably continue this episode throughout the week as I finish off the last little bits in here. Um, but for today, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.